These are the nine best states for millennials. Number nine is Maryland. Okay, never been. Maryland. The eighth best state for millennials is? Boom. Virginia. Oh, what? Oh, right next door. The seventh best state for millennials is? Whoop. Washington, Washington State, Washington. not Washington, D.C. That's Washington, a good one, though. Washington, D.C. is not a state. Yeah. Here we go. The sixth best state for millennials is worth $20, 20 if you can bucks? guess it. Yeah, oh, $20 man. it is. Uh, let's do Oregon. Oregon. All right. Good guess. Good guess. Yeah. Here we go. The sixth best state for millennials is Maine. Oh, wow. All the way on the other side. All the way up there. Let's do this. Oh, millennials would be happy without a, a big city. All right. Here we go. 50 bucks for the fifth best state for millennials, if you can guess it. North Carolina. North Carolina. All right, here we go. The fifth best state for millennials is Vermont. Oh, oh wow. Maine, Vermont. Jeez. Interesting. Never even. We're seeing the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast. All right, here we go. The fourth best state for millennials Fifty dollars, if you can guess it. Fifty bucks. Uh, mm. Let's go with. Mm, that's geez, so, so the criteria tough. for this list is cost of living, home ownership rates, unemployment rates, median student loan debt, and other factors that are similar. Oh wow. Um, Tennessee. Tennessee. All right. Here we go. The fourth best state for millennials was 20 in Tennessee. You win 50 bucks, Tennessee. It is Colorado. Oh, wow. Colorado. Colorado. Is super expensive. It is super expensive. I, yeah, I'm a little, criteria is a little suspect. All right, here we go. If you don't agree with that criteria, let us know. All right. You all let me know anyway. You guys uh, tend to disagree with these uh, lists. Utah. Utah. Hundred dollars if Utah, Utah is the best, third best state for millennials based on cost of living, home ownership, unemployment, median student loan debt, and other factors. What makes you think Utah? Because I feel like you know, there's it's not a crazy, it's not crazy big. The cost yeah. of living, I don't, I don't feel like it's you know, yeah, too too bad there. And yeah. There's a lot of things to do, hiking and a lot mm -hmm. of amazing the culture there is nice they do sort of have it all all right here we go the third best state for millennials if it's utah you win a hundred dollars it and move those hands move oh, those okay. hands starts with an m okay so it's not utah it could be massachusetts it could be minnesota it could be michigan it could be montana it could be maine it could be missouri hmm. michigan michigan all right let's go with michigan michigan or minnesota Michigan. Michigan. For sure. Okay, we're going with Michigan then. Yep, let's do it. The third best state for millennials, if it is Michigan, you win $100. It is Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was the first one I said. Massachusetts. What the hell is in Massachusetts? I don't know. They got they got good public schools. I remember uh, I remember learning that in our other list game. Oh, wow. All right, here we go. Two. That will give you $100. I will give you $200 if you can guess the second best state for millennials. Numerados? Let's do it. Um, second best state for millennials. North, North Carolina hasn't been said. Let's go. Mm. Cost of living. Yeah, the cost mm -hmm. of living just feels like everywhere is this. Texas. Texas. Okay. Well, what, what, what was your guess for three? Three was Utah. Yeah. Guessing Texas for number two. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people are moving to Texas. Yeah. The cost of living. Texas is great. Yeah. A lot of big cities there, too. A lot of options in Texas. Yes. Here we go. The number two best states for millennials based on cost of living home ownership unemployment median student loan debt and other factors if it's texas you win 200 dollars. it is utah oh no you guessed utah for number three <laughs> so close yet so far ah, all right here we go without further ado number one and number one i'm gonna give you a chance to win it all right now 100 dollars. 200 dollars $300 if you can guess 
the best state for millennials? I'm going to go with uh, Nevada. Nevada. Because uh -huh. Reno yeah. just won number one uh, town in America. Yeah, I got that. I, I got a targeted ad for that yeah, recently just, that said I, Reno is the happiest city in America. Yes. Yeah. So, and a lot of my friends moved there. Yeah. Um, and honestly, you know, Vegas, being a millennial here, there's so much to do. Yeah. The cost of living is not that bad compared to yeah. you know, a lot of other places. Yeah. And I haven't seen the, uh, the, the previous game we played in Nevada wasn't up there. Right, which, right. I'm going to go with Nevada. Nevada, number yeah. one. Here we go. Let's do it. The number one best state for millennials, if it's Nevada, you win $300. Let's see it in three, two. Move those hands. Move those hands. I'm going to give you a hint. Because right, I really want you to win money. Eh, M, oh, not man. N. So close. Missouri, Minnesota, Michigan, Montana, Mississippi, Maine, Maryland. We've already had Maine and Maryland, though, so that eliminates those. Michigan. Michigan. Why, why I, Michigan? Michigan's beautiful. I, you know, but for instance, I have 15 mm -hmm. acres, mm -hmm. house 250K. In Michigan? In Michigan, with three lakes around me. You have that? I had that before I moved here, yeah. Wow, what and, part of Michigan? Uh, it was uh, a little old town called Fremont. So Fremont, you're looking Michigan. at it, it was yeah, like yeah. <laughs> the little midden. <laughs> but uh, it was like a two two hours away from you. It was like in the middle. It was wow. Perfect. There are a lot of lakes um, in around Michigan. Around Grand Rapids. I, I usually just okay. talk Grand Rapids. Around Grand yeah. Rapids. Hey, so if, if you're watching at home and you think Michigan is the best place to live and you've ever been uh, to Freeport, Freeport? Uh, Fremont. Fremont Fremont or Grand Rapids let us know here we go number one the best state for Millennials I mean hey it's hard to argue with lakes right oh, if you got proximity lakes, to lakes beautiful you're gonna be happy lakes everyone loves a good lake the number one happy not happiest best state for Millennials based on cost of living, home ownership, unemployment, median student loan debt, and other factors. If it's Michigan, you win $300. It is Minnesota, the land of 10,000 lakes. These are the states with the smallest homeless populations in America. Number nine is Montana. Montana. Wow. Okay. Okay. The state with the eighth smallest homeless population in America is West Virginia, West Virginia. Yeah. West Virginia. Okay. okay, the state with the seventh smallest homeless population in America is Delaware. Delaware. Okay. Wow, the state with the sixth smallest homeless population is worth twenty dollars. If you can um, guess it. How about New York? New York. Okay. Oh, no, that's a terrible sixth guess. Sixth smallest. Well, Wait, wait. Pick a new one. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Okay. It's the sixth smallest homeless population in America is Vermont. Vermont. I was so close. You were so close. So close. Get that 20 out of there. All right. The fifth smallest homeless population state is worth $100, if you can guess it. I was going to give you 50, but it taped together, and now oh, it's too late. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. Uh, okay, then I got to make sure this is a good one. Wyoming. 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 Here we go. Wyoming. Number five, the state with the fifth smallest homeless population in America is Mississippi. Mississippi. Wow. All right, Mississippi. All right, move that money over to number four. Here we go. Right. The state with the fourth smallest homeless population. What is your guess? I'm going to guess Ohio. 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 Ohio's a pretty big state. Are you sure you it's, want to guess it's Ohio? It's big, but I feel like it's not the kind of place you'd want to hang around if you don't have anything keeping you there. You hey, know? that's... so. Some people would say even if you got something keeping you there, you might <laughs> not want to hang around Ohio. Ohio. O-H-I-O, O-H-I-O. Come on, Ohio. The state with the fourth smallest homeless population, the fourth fewest number of homeless people total in the state, number four and three, two, one, it is... Rhode, Rhode Island. Island. Oh man. Oh wow. Rhode Island. I should have I should have known that was gonna be up there. It's so small. The state with the third smallest homeless population. Move that under the three, would you? Sure thing. So your hundred dollars plus another three hundred dollars for three. Ooh, okay. You can guess the state with the third smallest homeless population. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Okay. I'm confident in that. You're confident in that. No second guessing. Well, Why are you so confident? Yeah. 
I, I so look, based off of just the per capita not being a factor, just total right. number here. Total it's number. gotta be a smaller state. Smart. It's gotta be somewhere that has a cold winter, I would imagine. That would drive mm, people that would away. Drive people away. Yeah, and it can't have uh yeah, I would think it's in a place that, you know, has some idea and programs in place to sort of help these situations out. All right. So I think I'm going to go for a more northern state here. Okay, here we go. Let's see yeah. it then. No further ado. The state with the third smallest homeless population. Eh, get those hands out of there. Get Ooh. those hands out of there. It ends in an A. It ends in an A. So what is your guess now? Because New Hampshire ends in an E. Yeah, it does. So I got to choose. Not New Hampshire. Um, okay, thinking back on the A's. Alabama. I think this is one of the Carolinas. Arizona. North Carolina, South Carolina, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, mm -hmm. Nevada, Nevada, Arizona, California, California. Lots of them. Lots that would be them. shocking. It would be shocking. Yeah. I don't think it's California. I think something's telling me I should go for a Carolina here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I feel like a Carolina. Now, North or South? The only metric I have to go off here is I imagine the winters are a little colder in the North Carolina, so I'm going to go for South Carolina. Okay. All right. Let's see like it. The reason. state with the third smallest homeless population is, let's see it, South Dakota. Oh, oh I got the I South was right part, in right. there, but I did get the South. I, it's just the wrong state. Here we go. The state with the second smallest homeless population move that money over Ooh. and i will add another 50 bucks on top of that so that's 300 mm. that's 250 dollars okay well let's you do can guess the state second with the smallest. second smallest homeless population the Massachusetts. second fewest amount of homeless people you're saying massachusetts number two massachusetts here we go Massachusetts. Ready. Massachusetts. The state with the second smallest homeless population is not Massachusetts. It's not Massachusetts. And uh, I'll give you a little hint. I'm not going to reveal a letter because revealing a letter would be a giveaway. <laughs> Think about that. Think about that. that. If I revealed a letter, it would probably be a giveaway. Is there a state that only, like, only one state begins with the letter? Could be. Or ends with the letter. We already have Vermont on this list, right? We've already seen Vermont, okay, I think. because so, I'm trying to think. But also it. Virginia. Right, right. There's also... Hmm. First letter, last letter. What? Yeah, is there a... It's not necessarily the only state, but it might narrow it down to two. Whereas narrowing it, whether an A narrows it down to like six or seven. I'm really in your head now. Yeah, you've got me, man. I've you've got totally you. totally got me cornered here. I'm trying to think so hard about what state would be given away from a single letter. Yeah. But it's going to be so obvious when I see it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Number two. Yeah, I got to feel like... The hint is no hints. That is a riddle. Uh, I feel like it's got to be... I feel like it's got to be Virginia, because if we've already had Vermont, the only letter that would give it away is a V. Interesting. And we've seen Vermont. Okay. So, Virginia. Virginia. Old Virginia. Virginia. Okay, here we go for $250. Come on. Come on, Virginia. The state with the second smallest homeless population is Wyoming. If it ends, how many states end with a G? I mean, Wyoming, Washington. It's just two. How many state letters yeah. start with a W? Wyoming, Washington. Yeah. And Washington's got Seattle. It would have been a dead giveaway. All Move right. that money over to one. All right. All Move right. that money over to one, and I'm going to throw another 100 down. Oh, man. If you can guess the state with the smallest homeless population in America. In America. Do I go back to Massachusetts here? Do I mm -hmm. go to Maryland? Mm. Do I go, Maryland feels good, but uh, do I go for Alaska? Because look. Oh yeah. I, I would, would not want to be hanging no. around in Alaska. I would pinch every penny to get on a plane. Yeah. Out 
Yeah, I mean, it's only a couple hundred bucks for a ticket. You could do that and get out in a couple of weeks. Just get out. Um, I'm get thinking, out. Get I'm thinking someplace I more. like the way that sounds. I think Alaska sounds like a good guess. All right. Let's, yeah, Alaska. let's do Alaska. Let's do Alaska. All right, here we go. All right. For the, whoa. I don't know. I can't even count how that high. This is for a bunch of money. Yeah, the I think state, it's 350 350 you think. The state with the fewest number of homeless people mm -hmm. is... Oh, move, the, move those hands, move those hands, move those hands. Ends in an A. Mm. Ends in an A. So Alaska ends in an A. That should seal the deal. But we've also got uh, mm -hmm. Alabama, uh, Nebraska, North Carolina, South Carolina, North Dakota, South Dakota. Well, we can't do, what was it? It was North, South Dakota. South Dakota has so been done. Out. Yeah. So North Dakota would still be a possibility. But. Yeah, but are you really going to second guess Alaska? It doesn't really change anything. It doesn't change anything. It could still be Alaska. Yeah. Um, Ends in an A. Hmm. Three seconds. Two. Montana. One. Montana. I'm going to swing for Montana. Wow. I'm bringing it back to the continental. Man, do not be mad at me if it is Alaska. I the hope it's state not. with the smallest homeless population is North Dakota. Oh, 